All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a clean and modern webcam overlay in Pixlr. So you guys don't need Photoshop and you don't need to pay for any kind of software to go ahead and make this. If you guys are new to the channel and you like this kind of content, I do a lot of graphics tutorials and I also do some tech reviews as well. So make sure you guys are subscribed and you guys have that notification bell on so you guys know when all my videos go live. And I also do want to mention that I have a podcast dropping within the next week. It is called the Icecast and it is essentially a podcast podcast centered around helping you guys grow a YouTube channel from scratch and basically how to monetize your YouTube channel to go ahead and make it like a profession or a career or something that you can quit your day job and just something that you can do full time. So if that's something that you guys would be interested, there's a link in the very top of the description of this video. It is a link to the YouTube channel where all the podcast episodes are going to be premiering at first. In the future, I'll be having them on all different kinds of platforms, but for now it's going to be solely on YouTube. So make sure you guys go ahead, click that link, subscribe, check it out if that's something you guys are interested in and yeah we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the video all right so first of all to start this video off shout out to say so if you guys know who say so is if i'm saying his name right hopefully i am he's actually a designer of 100 thieves and he kind of gave me this idea and i just wanted to give him a little bit of credit i'm a long time fan of a lot of his graphics and a lot of the stuff that he does on photoshop but i do know that a lot of you guys can't afford photoshop or a lot of you guys have pcs that can't really handle photoshop so i thought i would kind of integrate and kind of make something of my own on Pixlr and I went ahead and kind of used all my own images so I didn't really copy anything that he did but I definitely got this entire inspiration of this kind of modern look um, of a webcam overlay from him so shout out to him I'll have a link in the description for his channel but let's go ahead and just take a look at it at first um, I just want to say first of all that this is what it looks like um, and then your webcam is just going to go over that black space as you guys probably saw in the thumbnail but I do want to go ahead and just give you guys everything right away um, that you guys need for it instead of kind of doing it throughout the video so first of all if you guys do see on here um, see this pattern right here it's kind of like a uh, pattern graphic so this is actually just a full pattern right here um, and I will go ahead and leave all of these images and everything that I used exactly in a Google Drive as well and that will be linked in the top of the description of this video right next to the podcast link if you guys want to go ahead and just quick download anything here or you guys could find some of your own images if you want something else everything that you guys will need is you'll need to find a template wallpaper so pretty much any image that is size 1920 by 1080 because all of your webcams or your video footage like that goes um, in your webcam border is all 1920 by 1080. If not, it's uh, 1280 by 720 in which you can just scale this down. This is just gonna be black, but I have a template right here. Um, you can just Google 1920 by 1080 or you can download the exact image that I have in the Google Drive. Now you're also gonna need a follow icon and a subscribe icon for your Twitch, um, assuming that you guys are making a webcam overlay for your Twitch channel. Say you guys stream on YouTube and you're doing one for your YouTube, you guys probably don't even need either of these. You guys could just maybe use the star um, for like super chats or something like that. Um, it's completely up to you since you guys are making it. You guys can really do whatever you want with it um, once you get like the base look. And then we also have um, the font that I will go ahead and show you guys how to get because I don't think I can put the font in the Google Drive. So for the font, if you guys see on here, I have ice kicks and I will go ahead and show you guys how to get the font real quick. All right, so to go ahead and get this font, all you guys need to do is go to defont.com and click Road Rage. And this is the exact font that I use for this. And I actually use this font for so many other graphics stuff. So I would highly recommend getting this font and using it for other stuff as well. And not just this. I'm not going to show you guys how to actually get this font onto Pixlr. If you guys want to know how to do that, I'll leave a card up at the last Pixlr video on my channel. Personally, um, is actually a tutorial on how to get fonts onto Pixlr. And it's a very easy process, but I'm not going to go ahead and get into it all um, in this video in particular. So Road Rage is the font. You guys can use another font if you guys really want to. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and jump into Pixlr now and get into the actual tutorial. All right, we're going to head to pixlre.com. And as you guys can see here, I made this completely uh, with Pixlr. As you guys can see here, all the layers um, are right here. Um, so I'm just going to go back. So we're going to go to uh, Create New. And we're going to go to width and the width is actually going to stay the same. So this is going to be 1920 and then for height, we're actually going to do 1300. So 1300 and we're going to leave the background transparent still and you guys can name it um, webcam overlay or whatever you guys really want to. And we're going to hit create 
So as you guys can see here, the width is still the same um, of like your webcam um, footage or whatever. So the size will be the same for the width. So the reason the length is 1300 and not 1080 is because that difference between the 1300 and the 1080, which is about like what, 220 um, pixels, that's actually gonna be your little overlay for your, your video and or webcam. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and hit layer, add image as layer, and we're gonna go ahead to, um, I actually just saved this all to my desktop. Um, we're gonna go ahead and open up that 1920 by 1080 wallpaper. So essentially this is the size of a wallpaper or the size of your webcam um, or the size of your DSLR camera footage that you are recording for your stream. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna hit select, select pixels. So we're gonna go ahead, hit the draw tool here. We're gonna hit this top color one right here. We're just gonna go to black and I am just going to bring the size up a bunch bring the softness down to zero and i am just going to brush all of this in because essentially our footage is, is just going to go right over it so we don't really need to have it um, as a wallpaper or anything we're going to select deselect and now we kind of have the template for our webcam and now the overlay is going to go underneath it so to start off with the overlay we're going to go to layer one and we're just going to go to the draw tool again and we're gonna go to white right here. And now we're just gonna draw in the white a little bit. And obviously you can guys see that this layer is underneath. Um, you guys just need to make sure that that layer is underneath so you don't draw on the top part. Now we can zoom in a little bit on this. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hit add image as layer. And we are gonna find this pattern right here. Um, and I will have this um, in the Google Drive as well. Or what you guys could do is you guys could also find your own kind of pattern or you could use a solid color if you wanted. Um, just find like any, like maybe like camo um, or it could be like a wallpaper. Um, just anything that you guys think has a cool design. And then it can kind of just add that cool element to it that I think, I think looks really good personally. But what we're just gonna do is we're gonna get it sized here kind of like how you guys see in the thumbnail. And if you guys need to move it just a little bit, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to just kind of move it a little bit at a time. And what we're gonna do is make sure this is dragged underneath the black part and see how that kind of goes in between. Now, what you guys can do here is make sure you're clicked on that and just kind of use the arrow key to uh, get it fixed right where you want it. I believe it was right around here in the thumbnail. And now what you guys can do is you guys can go to the white layer down below and you guys are actually gonna take your lasso tool and you're gonna click polygonal lasso. And then you're gonna go, make sure you guys again are clicked on the layer first. It really matters what layer you guys click on, otherwise it's gonna mess the entire thing up. But you need to make sure you're clicked on the white layer or the very first layer that you started out with. And you're gonna click right up there. And then you're just gonna make sure it's completely straight. And then you're gonna click down here. And then all you need now is just click at each corner and kind of surround it. And then click back where you started and it's gonna select those pixels. Now all you guys need to do is go to the color tool right here. Um, but make sure you guys first collect or click the draw tool as well. But click that color and then go onto um, the actual pattern that you guys have and make sure you guys click that same red um, or if it's maybe a different color, but make sure you guys have the same color so it kind of matches really well. Um, so what we're gonna click that red, um, we're gonna click okay, and then we're just gonna draw that in. And as you guys can see, it looks pretty good. We're gonna hit select, deselect, and it's looking pretty nice. Now we might shift this over just a little bit. All right, so now we're gonna work on your text or your name. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and hit the text tool and we're gonna hit add text and we are already on the road rage font um, I'm gonna go ahead and just put Actually, we're gonna make it white like the uh, thumbnail was and I'm just gonna put Ice kicks And we're gonna drag it down and I'm just gonna go ahead and double click on it And go back to the text tool and I'm just gonna go to the size option. I'm just gonna drag it down a little bit. And we got our name going here. Now what you guys can do here is you can go to the text tool and you guys can go to styles and add a little bit of a shadow if you guys want, um, or you can add an outline. If you guys wanna maybe outline it in um, white, or white, <laughs> I suppose white's not the best option. Um, you guys could do black. 
it would fit the theme pretty well or you guys could even do a different color in the pattern like this purple um that would look pretty cool as well it would match the whole theme um definitely be creative with it i personally am very much a minimalist when it comes to like colors and things like that so i like to keep the color scheme just a regular like one or two colors or three even but if you guys like my colors definitely be creative with it so now i'm actually gonna move this up a bit a little bit more the pattern um just so we have room for the uh socials and everything down below I think that looks good here so what we're gonna do from here to add the follower and the subscriber icon is we're gonna hit add image as layer so if you guys want to use the one from my pack feel free to um, but the first one we're gonna use is the heart one now what we can do here is click on the black layer and we're just gonna lock it so we can't edit it at all we're gonna go back to the follower one and we're just gonna go to the wand select and click on here and then we're gonna click on the white and then click delete and it's actually going to get rid of the white background behind it to make it a PNG image. I don't know what does that. We just need to deselect that. There we go. And then we can just drag it down here. And we can size it to fit our needs. And I'm just going to use the arrow key to move it around here. And we're going to put it right about here. And we're going to hit enter. And what I'm also going to do, as you guys can see on the thumbnail, um, it was actually a color red, the uh, little icon was. So what we can do is um, leave it as purple if we want, or we can hit adjustment, and we're going to hit hue and saturation. And from here, we can adjust the color of the actual icon, and we're going to get it to look red a little bit. And if you guys want it a deeper red, uh, you can just up the saturation a little bit. And now we have a red little heart icon, which I think looks pretty good. Now we're going to do the, um, I believe it is a subscriber icon. Um, I'm a little rusty on my Twitch stuff because I uh, actually stream on YouTube now and have been for a while now, but we're going to hit layer, add image as layer, and we're going to find the star icon that I used for the subscriber um, icon, and we're just going to drag it down a little bit here. Now, usually, I just put it right next to the other icon just for like a size measurement that looks about the same, and we're just going to put that over here looking about good there now we're going to focus on the text for the icons so we're going to make sure we have the text tool and we're going to click add text and then i used the fortnite font um, which i actually showed you guys in um the how to get fonts uh, video on my channel again i will leave a little card up if you guys want to check that out but the fortnite font we're going to double click and i'm going to put recent and i'm going to enter i'm going to put follower and I want to do the settings on the left side, align. And I also believe in the thumbnail, I had it italicized as well. So if you guys go to um, the left side settings right here, you can italicize it. And then I also believe, actually, let me drag it down for a little bit. I'm gonna drag it down. And then I believe I had the color black as well. Cool. So what you guys can do here is just go to size, drag it down zoom in a little bit get a better look at it and i'm just going to adjust the size down a couple more i'm just going to put 26 and see how that looks that's looking better and i think that's looking about good for the text next to the icon so now what you guys can do is actually click on recent follower click on that text right click and you're going to duplicate that layer now what you guys can do is either drag it or just hold down the right arrow um, so you guys know that it's actually perfectly aligned and you guys can just kind of slowly move it all the way across um, Right next to your other icon. I bet that's the greatest sound in the world So tedious, but it's just the easiest way to know that everything's like lined up perfectly. All right, boom And then we're just gonna double click it. Oh my gosh if that resets, I'm gonna put a recent subscriber and we have both of the text next to the icons now if you guys want to um you guys can add things to this bottom part just don't add anything to the black part because if you add anything to the black part you're just going to end up putting your face cam video over it so you're not going to see anything but if you want to have your logo say on the little part here um, or on the right side or in the top part or whatever you can just save a png of your logo and toss that in streamlabs or obs after but i'll show you guys also how to save it and export it at, like high quality and everything like that so we're gonna go ahead and hit file save and i would definitely do jpg or jpeg and make sure you guys do this make sure you drag the quality from 90 percent to 100 percent i'm gonna put webcam overlay 
and we're gonna click download. And from here, I usually just say add show to folder and I usually just drag it to my desktop. And as you guys can see here, we have our newly made webcam overlay, which we're gonna compare to the one with, I made before. Should look very similar. As you guys can see, I did the text a little bit different, but you guys can choose whichever way looks better to you guys. So I would definitely go ahead and show you guys how to get it into Streamlabs, but I'm sure you guys already probably know how to do that. All you need to do is add a source and add a image or like a, a media slot into your Streamlabs or OBS. And then all you need to do is get your uh, webcam footage and just scale it to fit that black part and the bottom part will stick out underneath your webcam. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to go ahead and leave a like, um, subscribe. I appreciate all you guys who are still watching till the end. I will see you guys in the next video on the channel. Thanks for watching. Peace.